want you to say welcome back to being that right now I'm happy glad excited feeling kind of good about being back so in today's video I keep looking this side because that's where the camera is and this is the mirror so I'm in the mirror okay and if you can see the little black thing right here that's the camera yeah that's the camera but I'm sorry if you're OCD but this is just a video set up for today so in today's video I will be answering you guys questions and I will be doing my makeup because I did a chit chat get ready with me right here you guys can go um, check it out but I've, I've done it before and it, it got like 11,000 views and you know which means you guys kind of liked it so we will be doing that video again today but just a whole different thing today I will be answering the questions that you guys ask on Instagram I just feel like I need to talk to you so since I've been going for like two weeks um first question I'm gonna start with is I do my makeup and I hope that's gonna work out first question because I have the questions put up over there on my phone um, first question from Farai 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 is what's your biggest motivation behind your YouTube channel so she had like a two-part question basically um, she said what's my biggest motive like what's my no what's my big, biggest motivation like what motivates me to do videos to yeah just do this channel um my motivation is the fact that well if we say biggest motivation to actually start it's my little brother like I think I've said this before <laughs> I just inhaled all the powder <coughs> it wasn't supposed to be like that but um I think I said this before my little brother is my biggest motivation if we really talking about behind the channel as a whole um and why because in the first place for most of you if you guys know I had a channel in 2016 yes I had a channel I and um what how I started it was because my look well I had a different channel from this one so I've been doing YouTube for you know I've, I've been onto YouTube for quite a while and what made me actually start was my little brother he was like you know I think you will do great and I think you should start he was like you know like I just think you will do great because I was already like an Instagram person and I don't have many followers and I didn't have as many then but like my little brother was like you know like you will do great like you will you will just be amazing on YouTube and I was like why do you say that he was like I don't know I just feel like you have a voice for it and um I wasn't really one to be speaking in front of people but I don't know he just felt like it and oh yeah another thing was my brother was just into like editing and stuff like this it was more like um it was more like a thing that we just did for it. fun and then when I took the channel down because of personal reasons uh, my brother was like start another one like start another one start your own channel start that was my channel but you know my brother was like start another one so the biggest motivation is my brother sometimes I feel very discouraged like you guys used to watch my videos a lot but you guys don't watch them anymore but you guys don't watch them as much anymore so but um if sometimes I feel very discouraged and you know many other things and my little brother is like like there's no stopping my brother's like you're already there if we're speaking in terms of what really makes me now really want to do videos but not just like the channel as a whole like what makes me feel like you need to keep doing this is also like the fact that I have had I've done some videos and I didn't think I didn't know that they were going to like impact certain people some people I didn't know and um, you guys reaction is what really like gave me a feedback like hey you need to take this seriously because it helps somebody out there it's really mostly to document my experiences in order to help someone and I've seen that it does I've I've talked to so many people and they have given me amazing feedback to those that don't like my channel that's fine I know that I have at least a solid hundred people that really do appreciate my content 
on to the next question. Dang it. Farai said, do you ever fear looking back in 10 years time and regretting starting it? Because that's a whole, that's your whole life on the internet. What's crazy is, um, I actually regret not starting a channel 10 years back. Um, I regret not starting a channel 10 years ago because, baby girl, if I had been documenting my experiences back then, like at least five years ago, four, not four, like six, seven years back, it would have been crazy so no I don't fear looking back because I mean yes that's your whole life on the internet that's permanently there technically and like some people can save it and keep it but it's not like I'm doing anything inappropriate I try so hard to um, put out there like very useful content and if I don't like anything I can simply take it off so no I don't think I will look back and regret because honestly when I sit down and I look at my um, my videos or um, pictures from way back they're so motivational because I see my growth I see um, I just see how I've changed from the past and everything is it's amazing so that's why even on Instagram I have not deleted my pictures from like 2015 2014 but like I keep my stuff because it's growth and I love it and I feel like I actually have a video that I want to do that I will look back in 10 years and so you know for me to look back at when you know 10 years later so no I don't feel like I will and I pray I won't and I pray that I keep doing content that I'm going to be very much proud of because I mean like if I don't have any regrets I don't believe in regret you know regrets but if at all I regret anything, I would regret what I did, not necessarily regret putting it on YouTube. I hope that makes sense. I, I mean, I understand some people feel like the worst thing is to like um, put your life on the internet, like relationships wise. Maybe I guess that's really what she was thinking of. Like, you know, that's my whole life, that's my whole relationship and relationships on the internet. But I mean, like, no life goes on like if you take an L you take an L like it don't matter like put, put the stuff on YouTube put it up if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend post them on YouTube um Instagram Snapchat wherever like don't be thinking about what if we break up man if you break up then you break up <laughs> I'm just saying that shouldn't be a reason why you shouldn't be posting your press um on to the next question what's your take on sex before marriage <laughs> why YouTuber does not get this question like who does not have anybody asking them this question um hey what's your take on this i don't know why my camera just stops recording for no reason but no i don't think um it's essential in a relationship i just feel like um whoever you are wherever you are you there's no need to rush and sex before marriage um if you're a christian it says no sex before marriage so my take on Sex before marriage is do not have sex before marriage. That's what I would tell my daughter. That's what I will tell my little sister. That's what I will tell any young one that really is coming to me for advice. Like, honestly, what are you rushing for? I mean, yeah, we don't know when the world's going to end. And coronavirus, you might as well get your cheeks clapped. Whatever it is that you guys have been saying on social media. But honestly, I feel like um, your beliefs, your morals virtues whatever it is that your mama told you growing up stick to that don't try to ask you know look sometimes some people were to when i say your mama i mean anybody who was guiding you sometimes people try to ask people or like the, the media or try to look for validation from other people that are influencers on what they think about certain situations that <coughs> that have you know that that concern their lives like that is your life that is your whole life so don't go on the internet or to me don't ask me don't ask anybody like if they're not the person that raised you don't ask them what they think about sex before marriage because look I didn't raise you and I don't know what you were told when you were growing up but what I'm gonna tell you is stick to whatever it is that they told you mm, who is your role model so my role model so, a role model is a person that's 
looked looked up to by others is an example to be imitated <laughs> well that's role model so a role model i already said the definition for it and then inspiration um in terms of a person is a person or thing that inspires you and being inspired is the process of being mentally stimulated to do something feel something or especially do something creative so i'll say this i don't have a role model <laughs> I don't and I know maybe I say a lot of weird things on this channel and you guys are like um Natalie stick to the topic but I don't have a role model simply because the definition of a role model says that it's a person that is looked up to others and imitated I don't have anybody I want to imitate I don't have anybody I want to like literally do as they do because imitating is doing exactly as they do the best way that you can and I don't have anybody like that why because a lot of I have I don't have a role model I have an inspiration so why because a lot of people that are my inspiration have had some flaws and so does anybody else they've had some flaws they've had they've made some mistakes they've done some things and like I look at it like hey you're cool you're amazing and I want to you know you're cool but I don't really want to be like you like, to the fullest like I don't want to be like you so my inspiration really truly honestly is my mother and I'm not gonna have an inspiration as a person that's like a random person like a, a celebrity or whatever because simply because I don't know them and social media they can show you what they want to show you the internet can show you whatever they want to show you I really can't have any other person as my role model I know my mom fully and maybe I don't know some other things but like I know my mom fully and truly and I know what she's been through I know I know so much so yeah my mom is my role model my, my mom is my inspiration um, I know your question was who's your role model I don't have one but I do have an inspiration and that is my mother because I know her I know what she's been through and she inspires me to do certain things she's done and to not do certain things she's done Please just show this video to my mom. I don't know how she'll take it. But. So, next question. How do you keep your relationship with your boo, your boyfriend, so sweet and all? How do I keep the relationship so sweet? Um, first of all, I don't keep the relationship so sweet. I guess, you know, things are just the way they are. And um, uh, I've had things the way I want them to be to be because I pray to God like I've said like I said almost every chit chat and get ready to be video um I've prayed and I have asked God for a certain type of relationship and um I guess that's how I I have it the way it is but my relationship is not perfect at all just like any other thing it's not perfect and it has a lot of flaws that you guys you know, you know a lot of imperfections that you guys don't know my friends don't nobody knows honestly like I would literally take some things to the grave but it's not a horrible relationship it's a relationship I want to be in but how I keep it you know how I keep it going I must say is prayer really because mm, relationships are not the easiest thing. are you ever gonna do a giveaway on YouTube um looking at my my analytics like looking at my viewers and stuff it looks like some of my um, my my subscribers are from Zimbabwe from Africa I think if I'm gonna just put it that way but mostly Zimbabwe and it would be so dumb for me to do a giveaway here I mean I know I have some American subscribers but I mean like the loyal subscribers are probably most probably from Zimbabwe and um, I was thinking of doing a giveaway. I talked to my brother about it. Like, I need to do a giveaway. And, um, yeah. What was the question again? Are you ever gonna do one? I have thought about doing one. But it's just, I don't know. I don't, I have some loyal subscribers, but like, I can count. So, I would never really want to do a giveaway because I probably probably the person that would win is not the loyal subscriber they're just doing it for the giveaway you know what i'm saying so i feel like it's giveaways are bogus because the person that might win might not be the loyal subscriber honestly because they might just be doing it because they want to win the giveaway and i know who my loyal subscribers are i know people watch my video on the regular so 
Maybe not. Maybe. If I say, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and you know, DM me some um, suggestions. And then the same person is always commenting and DMing me suggestions. I mean, I don't need a giveaway. Like, I just need to go ahead and give it away to them. So, yeah. somebody said, what or what inspired you to be a YouTuber? I already answered that. I hope I did. Uh, skin secret, please. <laughs> uh, okay, look now. Look now. Look now. Um, this is a very funny question, really. I know I've never really spoken about this topic, this whatever, before. Um, but I'm trying not to say her name, but maybe she doesn't want that. It's a controversial, but how did you move on from a relationship that was so public? Honey, look here. The was it really that public? Was it really? <sighs> That's scary. But look, the publicity of the relationship is not what determines whether you should still stay with the ain't it nigga, you know, like I don't want to curse on my channel, but let me say that again. The publicity of the relationship is not what determines if you should stay with a person that's not right for you. That ain't it. Um, that's not it. So, that relationship could have been public, private, whatever it was. But the moment I was going to open my eyes, I was going to open my eyes. So, how did I move on? Funny enough, I moved on when I was still in the relationship. Um, that's a very toxic trait of mine, but it, it, it is real. <laughs> and most people had already noticed, and it's not like I, I still kept like portraying this amazing relationship when I was still in it, because a lot of people DM me and they're like, because I, I had pictures and stuff that I had posted from the past, and then when I just was done with the relationship, I was still like trying to. Um, talk to myself about it, talk to God about it, think about it, talk to him about it and I was trying to do a lot before I actually made an actual decision because then again like you said it was a public relationship but then it was also a really long relationship and at that time I was really like trying to work on myself and trying to get somewhere and I was working on so many other things that it was so much work for me to be thinking about that relationship all the time so I was already out of it and I, I wasn't even posting anymore like I wasn't even posting pictures anymore um, then again like I said I had that channel like like you guys noticed that channel nothing was being posted on that channel anymore so people who had eyes people who cared people that were nosy they asked me they were like you're not posting anything anymore these days like have you guys broken up and like I still trying to play it off that's what it looked like. It looked like um, I wasn't deleting or we were not deleting pictures anymore because um, we were trying to play it off. But then I was done, but I wasn't officially out of the relationship. So, and then again, I just could not at that time handle people speaking and saying whatever. So I kept them there and I still stayed in the relationship, but I was mentally, emotionally out of the relationship. I prayed to God for strength. I, it was it was not shit like it was not worth it so i had to um but then again i cared for the person feelings too before i just cared for my feelings so yeah that's how that's how honey so it was in the end it had to be more about myself than anybody else before it's about anybody else but you know i'm a person with a heart and so i had to I had to consider how the other person felt so that's why it took so long it took it took about a year <laughs> it took about a year and then I was also trying to talk myself out of it but then I was like girl if you are still trying to force yourself into a relationship that you're already out of and mentally you need to be out like, you need to be out so um please don't you ever stay in a relationship because people know about it because it's public because you're afraid of what people are gonna say because really The people that you're worried about really don't even care like when i say care like they don't even want you in the relationship either like they think it's perfect and they're already hating on the relationship anyway they don't want you in the relationship anyway 
so please don't be staying because of some people that really want you out of it anyways so yeah um, I've never really thought that it was about people I'm done it was really supposed to be Loki, nothing too much I had to wear makeup in a long time so hey hey yeah so yeah I'm kind of happy and I feel a little bit different I look different so um that's all for today thank you guys for asking me questions and next time I do this I really hope we'll have more questions and I skipped some questions because some questions were not questions but I hope I answered your question to the fullest and thank you guys for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and share this video to three people i will see you guys in the next video which i'm really about to film right now so thank you guys love you did i do that right let's do it again Mwah.